Hey everybody, this is John David and today I'm going to be teaching you how to take your screen pass thematic video, save it into a workable format, upload it to YouTube and finally embed it into your WordPress uh, into your WordPress blog. So uh, we've got four steps ahead of us today. I want to go ahead and get started because believe it or not, uh, if I don't, then this video is going to go way over the time limit. Trust me, I know that for a fact. So we're going to start by going ahead and, and opening our uh, our Screencast-O-Matic tool. Now I wanted to say while this is opening, the reason I picked this topic was because I actually got an email from a classmate saying that they were having all sorts of problems getting through this process. And so I thought it was really representative of the types of problems that we come across in the ID field all the time. And I thought it might be kind of a fun sort of um, meta topic to, to tackle, sort of inception style, you know, uh, uh, ID process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and record a uh, a video using my Screencast-O-Matic tool, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hey everybody, it's John David and I'm recording an Inception style Screencast-O-Matic video to be uploaded to YouTube so we can embed it into our WordPress blog before the end of this instructional video. Okay, so sweet, it's 12 seconds long, what a rarity, I'm never able to do something that short. Uh, okay, now real quickly, if we had the full-on Screencast-O-Matic tool with all the um, the paywall functionality, then we could edit it at this point. Unfortunately, we do not, and so I want to give you all some tips and tricks about how we can get around that paywall using our free stuff from UK. So, now, um, real quick pitfall that I'd like for you all to avoid, which is this. A lot of times when we do projects where we create videos, it's really useful to be able to go back and uh, manipulate the videos later, whether we're able to use it in a different project um, and we only need part of the clip that we've already created or uh, whether we want to add some titles because we realized that what we had wasn't clear. Um, so I would go ahead and say, go ahead and avoid um, uploading the video directly to YouTube. What this does is it doesn't really create a, uh, a file, a physical file that you can go back and use later. And so I would say that it's not really going to be your best option if you're looking in the long term. Um, we can also upload to Screencast-O-Matic, but I, I wouldn't recommend you doing that either. The reason is because a lot of times when you have these different proprietary platforms, they create their own proprietary um, compression formatting. And so because of that, you will see just about as many different file formats in video as you will, um, as there were uh, all different types of editing software combined. And a lot of, there's kind of this big graveyard of these old formats that aren't used anymore because we found them to be obsolete. Um, and so uh, if you were to upload to the Screencast-O-Matic platform, then again, you're not going to really have that functionality in terms of the file type to be able to use it on a lot of different um, platforms from that point on. So what I would recommend that you do is you go ahead and save it as a video file. Now a couple um, things about your video file, it's really important to choose the compression, uh, the formatting that you're looking for. Now the formatting is going to be represented as the dot whatever at the end of your file. So in pictures that's dot JPEG or dot PNG, um, you know, there's so many different video or excuse me, picture file types. Um, it's kind of a good analogy. Now they have three different types you can choose from here. You can either do MP4, um, AVI or flash video. Um, so I will go ahead and tell you right now, you do not want to save as an FLV. The reason being because Adobe plans to drop flash, um, uh, supporting flash applications at the beginning of next year. So that flash video will not be around for very much longer in terms of being able to use it on the web. Um, now you've also got AVI and that is a really great format if you're doing professional video editing. Um, AVI files are more or less lossless. They're, they they don't really compress the video all that much, and that means that while you're going to have a really high quality video, you're also going to have a huge file size. So that would be one that if you're just a, if you're just teaching and you're making some flip uh, video, excuse me, flip classroom videos for your instruction, I would avoid AVI because you're just going to clog up your computer or your cloud wherever you're storing those with a lot of extra um, space. I would focus with the type that they go ahead they have as the standard, which is MP4. Um, it plays well with a, a variety of applications and also um, it, it compresses to a really manageable file size. So um, I would say that really for almost all intents and purposes, unless you are creating a video series from scratch for say to be broadcast on TV or to have like in a movie theater, other, 
other than those really specific applications, I would say that you would pretty much always want to use MP4 as your file type. So um, for our second step, we've chosen to save our video file as an MP4 project. And if we look right here, we've got recording number nine on our desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. So from this point, we're going to head to step three, which is that we go over to YouTube and we're going to upload it. So I go to YouTube. I go to the upload video link. And I'm going to go ahead and select recording number nine and drag it here to upload. So this should be a fairly uh, quick process because, like I said, we picked the MP4 version of our file. Um, if you see, we've almost got it completely published to the YouTube website, which is awesome that it happened so quickly. Again, if we had used an ADI file, it might have honestly taken a, a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go on to our fourth step which is where I take my URL that I've created for my uh, YouTube file and I'm going to integrate it and embed it into my WordPress blog. So I go to jdiduk.wordpress.com. That's my blog in media res. There we go. And I'm going to write a new blog entry. Okay. And I'm going to call this the most meta inception style blog video ever okay I uh, was some real clunky type in there probably need to take some typing classes I'm learning <laughs> okay so um to finish out my meta inception style blog what I gotta do is actually embed my meta inception style uh, video into my blog so um, as you saw it says start writing or type to choose a blog so I can type in here and I can just start typing but what I actually want to do is embed my video, so I'm going to hit this Add Block option, and I'm going to go to the YouTube section here, and it gives me an option to actually embed, uh, to enter my URL to embed the video into my WordPress blog. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, hit Embed, and here we go. Recording number nine comes up. I can write a caption. Awesome, dude. Great. Okay, so we have embedded our video successfully into our WordPress blog. Wonderful. But are we done? No, no, no. We've got to check our process. We always have to remember that until we hit publish <laughs> on our WordPress, that nothing is permanent. So always remember to hit that publish button. I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Okay. Am I ready to publish? Heck yeah, I'm ready to publish. All right. So now that we've gone through all four steps, I hope you can see how we can take a, uh, we can record a screencast o matic video. We can save it using our wisdom about our file types um, in such a way that we'll be able to upload to YouTube. We upload it to YouTube, and then we can take that URL and actually embed it into our um, the blocks functionality of our WordPress blogs. So I hope that this was helpful moving forward, and I hope that you all see that um, ID is just a lot of problem-solving processes and just figuring out these things whenever they go wrong. <laughs> so I hope that uh, I hope this video was helpful, and you all have a great weekend. Thank you very much.